Yeah, I mean, I, I can't even imagine had a being here at this mall. It was not too later than it is now, 6.30 in the evening. You can see how busy things are here outside the mall. Talking to folks showing up today to shop, some of them knew about it, some of them didn't. But for those who were working inside yesterday evening, they say they'll never forget it. The mall of Victor Valley reopened today for the most part. Soul Addicts, the shoe store on the east side, was dark and gated up after investigators say a co owner followed shoplifters into the hall and opened fire. We heard some gunshots like around 6 30 in the afternoon. Jose Carlon is the manager of Stacy's, a menswear store near the Easter Bunny station. He said he was rushing to close up when he saw a family. We opened the doors quickly just to let them in, and then uh, once they came in, they came running inside. We closed the doors, we all went in the back. I noticed a little girl that she was bleeding on her right arm. A nine-year-old was shot in the arm. We got some towels to cover them up because it really helped to, to just cover the blood because she would get really scared when she would look at it. She was actually really, really, really brave. Investigators say the co-owner of Soul Addicts, Markel Cockrell, followed two shoplifters out of his store around 6.30 Tuesday night, shooting at them as they ran away. Deputies say he missed the shoplifters hitting the little girl waiting for the Easter Bunny. Every couple months, it seems like somebody is getting shot at. Shoppers say the entire situation is terrifying. It's scary because... You see this more often here. It's a lot of shootings around, and yeah, so we need more more security. This is the third shooting at this mall in less than six months. This just started this year that it started getting like this. It wasn't like this before. Carlon, who has worked here for 12 years, says something needs to be done. But for now, he's just thankful that everyone is okay because he knows things could have ended much differently. Thanks to Jehovah, thanks to God, everything worked out really good. Now, sheriff's deputies say after the shooting, that shop owner ended up running from the scene. He was arrested late last night in Nevada. Right now, he is being held on more than $1 million bond. They're going to extradite him back to California. I'll send it back to you. Joy